Hello and welcome back to Marketing by Shelby. One of the top questions that I get from authors and creatives who don't yet have a product available is what they are supposed to talk about on social media to start growing a following and building up their brand so that whenever their book is out or their product is released, they have people who are ready and there to buy. And this is a great question. So I'm excited to dive into some strategies and some tips in this video. So let's get started. Firstly, I love that people are asking this question. And if you are watching this video and want to learn this, because whenever I launched my first book, I did it all wrong. I did have an audience on Tumblr because I was sharing my poetry for about a year on Tumblr before I published my first book. However, I really didn't have much of a strategy or launch ideas in place. So it's amazing that you are already ahead of the game and wanting to know how to do that whenever it comes to your debut book or your first product launch, your first album, your first handmade product, whatever it is that you create, it deserves to be seen. And so I love that you're spending some time working on this before that product is out. So the first thing that I would be doing if I were you and I were months out or years out from my product being available, is using this time to experiment. This is the best time to do that whenever you can really identify what resonates most with your audience, what types of content perform really well for you, and continue experimenting before you are really in more of a niche, I would say. So whenever an author comes to me who writes out a specific topic or has a specific genre, we are going to spend some time really thinking about who that audience is that we want to reach and speaking to them in our content. And we still want to do that before you have a product available. Um, however, if you are a little bit more farther out, this is really your opportunity to experiment with the types of messaging in your videos or in your social media posts and really building that community who is there for you versus there to buy your products. The nice thing is, is that you don't have to worry about selling quite yet. And so even though I love selling and I like to help other creatives make it feel less promotional, less awkward, we have to sell to make sales of our product. So before you have one available, you can really focus on the types of content that tend to get high reach, high shares, which will help you grow your audience. So the types of content I would be sharing if I were you in this position is going to be highly relatable content. This should be some sort of content that evokes an emotion, whether that is humorous content that makes you laugh and your audience sees it and they laugh and they want to share it with their friend to make them laugh or something inspirational that really is moving, something educational that shows maybe you have an expertise on a certain topic and that's what you'll be creating content around. These are the types of content that tend to get shared more widely, which will boost your visibility and help you reach new people. So that's the type of content that I would be focused on creating. This can be reels or TikTok videos. This can be carousels or static images. It doesn't matter what the type of content is, but I think that it's really helpful to experiment with that. The next thing that I would be doing is engaging with the community that I do have. I don't care if you have five followers or you have 5,000 followers engagement is so helpful. You'll not only connect with other people and potentially bring those people over to your page, but this is a great form of research to see what other people are posting about, to see what is doing really well on social media at the moment. So please spend some time being social, engaging with your community and searching for hashtags or keywords related to your area, your genre, and follow people whose content that you enjoy. Start to get your name out there and become someone who, you know, those pages recognize your name and they get to know you. It's a great way to build connection for future collaborations. And it's just always good to have a network in your corner. And social media is about being social. So if we can start to browse through other content and engage with them genuinely, like, posts that you really truly enjoy and found amazing will be so helpful for you whenever it comes to getting engagement on your own posts because you'll learn what drives engagement for you as a viewer as well. The next thing that I would recommend sharing on social media is going to be your process, your creative process as you are working on your book or your album or your art 
or whatever it is that you are creating, share your progress, share the process, start talking about the themes or the tropes that can be found in your work and start showcasing your passion for it. It's never too early to start talking about it. I would say that if you're not planning on like offering pre-orders or getting pre-sales, you don't need to really lean into that aspect of it until you're a little bit closer to that point. However, just knowing that people are following along for this process and to see your progress and see it come to fruition is really helpful in keeping you motivated, but also then your audience knows what they're there for. And they know that long-term they're going to see that you've released something new and they'll be ready to buy it. I'll stop right here also to let you know that I have a sneak peek of my launch course that I posted on YouTube. This is a one hour launch course, whether you are launching your very first product or you've launched before, but didn't love the results where I share my exact step-by-step -step strategy to how I get pre-sales and orders and all of that before launch week, during launch week. So I have a little sneak peek of it on YouTube that you can watch for free. And I'll link the lifetime launch course in the description if you are interested in learning more about launching your product. The next thing that I would be doing as a creative before my product was out was finding some others in my niche to collaborate with who might also have a launch coming up in the future. So that way we can kind of swap audiences, get in front of each other's audiences and grow that way. I recommend collaborations, whether you have 10 books out or zero, but as a debut author or someone launching their first product for the very first time, finding others who are on that same journey to connect with, who might have similar size audiences, who would be willing and excited to swap with you and do some sort of collaboration is so helpful. It just builds community. It makes you feel like you have other people who are with you along the journey. And so some strategies for this would be you could collaborate on a virtual live stream event where you both maybe talk about the progress of your current project, or you do a Q&A where you ask each other questions or you get questions from your audience in advance. There's so many different things you could do with that. Um, if they're like pre-launch events and both of you are launching something around the same time or in the same year or something like that, you know, that could be like a launch type of event where you're both taking the opportunity to talk about your product, but also make it engaging for your audience and answer their questions or do a reading or whatever it may be. But I like that idea a lot. The other one you could do is a collaboration post on Instagram where you add the other person as a collaborator to the post and then it's on both of your feeds. That way it's shown to both of your audiences. So this is something where you would want to ask the person in advance and share why you think this would be a good idea, what type of content you think would resonate with both of your audiences and collaborate on a post. So one example of this that I've done in the past for me as a poet is I have collaborated with an illustrator where I had my poem that I had written on a graphic and she had an illustration on the graphic and we both posted it to our feeds, tagged each other. And so that was an opportunity where we were able to collaborate. Another opportunity would be some sort of giveaway or promotion. This could be a little bit more difficult if you don't yet have a product available for sale, but just to spark some ideas for you to think about, is there anything that you could collaborate with another brand or another creative on to give away to your audience to start building that community and showing your support for your community? I've done you know, book giveaways in the past where I'll collaborate with other authors and we'll all give away a copy of our books and to enter it's like follow each of us or like this post or whatever it may be so that it helps all of us out so that's another collaboration opportunity as well that i definitely recommend just giving a try before you have a book out as well above all this time is such a great time to experiment and just start building your brand start to identify who you are as a creative what your mission is as a creative Start putting together simple branding like colors and fonts and making a consistent and cohesive brand around your work. And I'll just throw this in, even though this is a social media video, one of my biggest regrets is not starting an email list sooner. So I definitely recommend that you do start one. It doesn't have to be if you're years away from publishing or, you know, making your product it doesn't have to be so, so, so far out. 
But I do really recommend that you get that going because you own that email list and that is people that can be with you for a long, long period of time. I use and recommend MailerLite and I will link to MailerLite in the description of this video. That is the email marketing platform that I have used for years and absolutely love, but be sure to do your research on other platforms as well that you might want to try out. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you are an author or a creative who is looking to launch your next product, I cover branding and my signature social media strategy inside the creatives content club, which is my marketing membership. We have people in all phases from people who are like you, who do not yet have their product finished and out into the world, who are working on building their brand and their marketing strategy before that's out. And we have people who have sold a quarter of a million books plus who know the ropes and are still learning social media marketing and what works for them, everything in between as well. So if you are interested in that, I'll be sure to link the waitlist for that club, the creators content club in the description of this video. And since I just touched on email marketing as well, I will leave you on this video about what should be in your email newsletters for you to watch next. Be sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss new videos every single week. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.